Hello and welcome. Today we will do Tradescantia's terminal hair. Look here, I am putting a camera in my head so that when I am doing the work through the slides etc. you will be able to see clearly. The purple heart or Tradescantia leaf and this is the flower. So when we see the flower, we need to understand that the anther, yellow anther and that is what is the stamen. We need to get the base of the stamen. We have to find the base which has hair. So lot of hair is there in this base, I will show you. So this hair can be seen by naked eye, but when we see through microscope we see lot of fun. So here we are, I am giving a drop of water, I am giving this uh, stamen, stamen on each one. So here we are, one stamen with the hair, the other stamen I am taking it to the other slide and I will take a third stamen to the third slide. So, now I will take a cover slip for each one. And when we are putting cover slip, we have to be very careful about not to dislodge the hair. The water is less, so I am putting some more water on the side. The second one also I am putting it. So now how will it look like? So when I put in the microscope, it's now we got a microscope which is trinocular. So in the third place, we got the digital eyepiece. Stamen out, which has anther and pollen. This is anther, and the filament has long hair. We can see long hair by our naked eye, but the moment we see through microscope, we see that the cells are round this and join in a line. This we call moniliform cell as if just like train compartment cells are attached. So, so when this only we see from 10x we see this view when we see 100x the view changes in 450x the view absolutely changes into big cells. The cells are attached with some connection. So now, suppose this is cell membrane and this black one is cell wall. So we find this cell wall connects with the another cell wall in a roundish fashion. Actually it is a 3D view. Oh, we can see round this structure where one cell is attaching with the second one and the cell membrane we cannot see very clearly cell membrane but we can guess cell membrane is continuous and in between the cell wall one cell wall and another there are some gaps normally we say Normally when we draw plasma desmata, we draw this way, but here is actually a 3D view where plasma desmata is connected and this through this even cell membrane is going. Now 
inside the cell you can see vacuole okay i'm sorry you cannot see vacuole you can guess vacuole you also can see nucleus yeah so we found a little dense is nucleus and the cytoplasmic streaming sometimes it go above the vacuole and go through one cell to another and continue now we got some bluish blob here which may be a little denser cytoplasm or maybe some organelle which is actually transparent but due to light diffraction this is happening this is showing green blob we can see sometimes the cell is sending the cytoplasm to the other way so this we call cytoplasmic streaming and going through the wall is known as plasmo desma plural is plasmodesmata just as stoma and stomata so plasmodesmata is very very rare to be seen but in this case when you see cytoplasmic streaming please look carefully you will see that it is going through a passage from one cell to another and this will continue one cell to another third fourth and here we come to xylem or uh, some uh, sclerenchyma cell where from the inside due to suburin and lignin formation this plasma is what i get clogged totally and so one cell to another no food can go and so these cells die at maturity such as sclerenchyma thank you Thank you.